today. Yeah. Our contention is that the police of Nashville conspired to start the, re the riot, because they started a riot. If we had started, it would have been a rebellion. And that they did it in an attempt to discredit the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and all other protest groups in the city of Nashville and to try and assassinate uh, myself. Now, the facts lead logically to just that plot. Number one, Captain, uh, what's that? Sirachi? Yeah, that dumb fella. Sirachi said that they had me under surveillance from the time I came into the city. Obviously, they knew that I was staying at 1720 Jefferson Avenue. So that the police started a disturbance three houses away from where I was staying. They had a riot squad with 100 policemen ready. They were able to clear the streets in five to 10 minutes. But what they did was to block off the streets on the block where I was staying. They were hopeful that I would come out of the block. They had their uh, flunky uh, lieutenant start shooting in the air when Hill. there were no shots called for. What's that? Hill. Yeah, Gunga Din Hill yeah. started shooting in the air, <clears throat> black traitor, so that what would happen would be in the midst, hopefully a lot of SNCC people would come out and they can start to shoot us down in the streets who worked for SNCC, while uh, Sirachi himself says that all the shots the police fired were in the air. And he himself on testimony claimed that no shots were fired from the group on the first night of the riot. All the shots came from the police. After blocking that off, and because we also have informers and we knew of their plot, and because we didn't fall prey to it, they then had to attack and break into the apartment where I was staying. So they then broke into the apartment on some phony charge about marijuana. They were unable to find any narcotics, and then they, they placed some bottles in there and accused people of making Molokov cocktails. It's important to note that the seven people they arrested for inciting to riot out of a group of people in the very apartment where they went were only SNCC people. So that it's clear once again that the, the fascists and the racists that run this country are trying to squash any protest movement, and they will use any means necessary. Police have done in Nashville. Mr. Rap Brown, our new chairman, will make an announcement about our plans for Nashville. Right. Nashville will be a project area for this summer. We intend to meet whatever forms of intimidation or aggression by any means we find necessary to combat it. But we will be working here this summer. Would that include a repetition of the instances of violence that occurred in April? Here in Nashville, the repetition of violence on whose part? On anyone's part. We expect the police to well, start. Well, well, if you know, like if it's started by the police, who usually starts it, I'm sure that if we work here long enough, it can be met by other forces. I feel about this case being heard by three white judges? Well, it's just an example of uh, justice in the United States. The jails of this country are filled with black men, and the courts are white with hate. Do you feel, uh, regarding any outcome of this case, either for or against you, that will hold any bearing on SNCC's future plans? None whatsoever. We expect that as we move to put the black community on its path to liberation in this country, that um, it's going to be met by the forces of white oppression. But we have been meeting that force for 400 years. The difference is that our generation of blacks are not going to take it passively. We will fight back against any force whether it be a force with a sheet on at night or a badge in the daytime. Any oppression by any means necessary. Are you affiliated with the 